I'm back to talk about the Deluxe 61 because I lay awake late at night thinking, what could I have done? What could I have said? What could I have shown them that they might have understood a little bit deeper? You know, here. Not here, but here. One of them is uh, I didn't really cover the clean stuff without tremolo. And did you know that you can turn off the tremolo by pressing this button thusly? Uh, red means no tremolo. It means it's not tremoling anymore, right? So here's that vaunted clean tone without tremolo that I talked about. This is through a York Audio Basement 4x10. Not bad. Good clean tone without tremolo. The other thing is that the drive and the uh, tone knobs are actually interactive. Did you know? I didn't. As you turn up, obviously tone makes it brighter or darker, right? It's pretty self-explanatory. But did you know that as the drive comes up, the tone becomes darker in itself? And when you boost drive all the way, the tone essentially just becomes a high cut. Let's show that. <laughs> No change there. For you tone guys out there, just be aware that as you turn up that drive, you know, you're not going to get that clarity and that definition. But I'm sure you're aware of that. I mean, as you turn up saturation on any source, you're not going to get clarity. That's really what saturation whether it be distortion or overdrive, does, right? Okay, other thing. How slow can it go? Uh, let's put intensity up, but let's put speed all the way down. So listen to this. That's pretty slow. And that's nice, because you can have that on. This is intensity all the way up. fast can it go? Let's see. You know, that's like a Beatles kind of thing, right? So... Uh, like, that would work for, like, lead lines where you need that kind of, like... Because once you start strumming, it almost is like a pitch thing, too, where it's like changing the pitch. So that's pretty fast. A little too fast, right?
Um, and then some other things here too. So let's, uh, I mean, here's the thing. This is my setting that I love the most. Uh, tone a little forward, drive a little forward. And on the neck, I just think this is the one of my, this is one of my favorite tones. Switch back to the deluxe. This is the 12 inch speaker. That's my favorite setting. And that's a cool lead sound. The, the great thing about this, though, is that companies seem like they're listening to the needs of guitarists a little bit more now. Especially like even like YouTube guitarists, not me, of course, <laughs> but other, you know, very influential musicians. And this is great because now <laughs> when I was growing up, you really didn't have access to good sounding gear at an affordable price point. Now you do. This is good. Cool things for guitars coming up. And now that the pandemic is somewhat over and you have some kind of shipments moving a little bit quicker now, you have more reliable technology for these companies to put more money into R&D and not be freaked out at like an 18 month lead time, right? Anyway, thanks again for stopping by. Just a quick little video. Um, love Origin Effects. They're not paying me for anything. I just love that pedal. Uh, let me know what you want me to re review or talk about maybe. I don't know. Maybe I will. I mean, I'll read it. I'm probably not going to talk about it though. I'll just talk about what I own. Mm -hmm.